Hello there. I've been expecting you. As promised, today's episode of Mundane But Meaningful will be discussing the mysterious and perplexing subject of public opinion polling. Or in other words, how politicians predict the future. Just kidding. In reality, a poll isn't a crystal ball, it's a Polaroid. Allow me to explain. Timer, please. Thank you. Public opinion polls give us a scientific way to understand what the public thinks about policy issues and the job politicians are doing. While they give us a good snapshot of what people are thinking at the moment in time, they can't predict the future because people's attitudes are always changing with new information. People also wonder, for example, how a poll of 800 can represent what all six million plus Marylanders think. Pollsters use a technique called random sampling to help ensure that the respondent selected to take the poll represents the population as a whole. Think of it like sampling soup. You don't need to eat the entire pot to tell what it tastes like. You just need a well-stirred spoonful. Be sure to always check out the methodology statement. It will tell you important information like how the questions were worded, when the poll was conducted, and who paid for it. And there you have it, folks. Public opinion polling explained in just one minute. And hey, response rates have been steadily declining since the 1990s. So the next time a pollster calls you, take the survey. This has been another enlightening episode of Mundane But Meaningful. Until next time, I'm your host, Lieutenant Governor Boyd Rutherford. Thanks for watching.